Adamantinoma. Adamantinoma affect young adults, usually over the age of 20 years. It usually affects the tibia. It is a low-grade malignant tumor. When it is a low-grade bony tumor, you treat it by wide excision alone because chemotherapy and radiation therapy will not work for a low-grade malignant bony tumor, such as adamantinoma and parastial osteosarcoma. Also, chemotherapy and radiation therapy will not work with chondrosarcoma. Chondrosarcoma is widely sectioned, so adamantinoma, parastial osteosarc, and chondrosarc, the treatment is widely sectioned. There is a doubt that this tumor, the adamantinoma, arises from the osteofibrous dysplasia. Osteofibrous dysplasia it occurs in children, it is benign, and the treatment is observation and not wide resection. In fact, osteofibrous dysplasia, it looks similar to fibrous dysplasia, but it has an osteoblastic ramming. Presentation of the adamantinoma usually is pain for a long time. There may be tenderness over the tibia, there might be a mass, but there also may be bowing of the tibia. The key point here, it occurs in the tibial diaphysis. The x-ray is classic with multiple lucent and sclerotic defects, so bubble appearance, and there is no preosseous reaction. Differential diagnosis will be chondromaxoid fibroma, fibrous dysplasia, and the osteofibrous dysplasia. The pathology, the tumor is biphasic, so you find nests of epithelial cells in a fibrous stroma, and the keratin is positive. The treatment is wide resection and reconstruction. Lung metastasis occurs in about 25% of the patient, so you need to follow the patient up for a long time. So in the exam, they may give you an x-ray of a tibia, and the lesion is in the diaphysis of the tibia, and the slice that shows epithelium-like tissue embedded in fibrous stroma, and they ask you, what is the treatment? So that's adamantinoma, and the treatment is wide resection. Thank you very much. I hope I was helpful with this lecture.